When you were a kid, did you always enjoy school? We better not fib. <laughs> I didn't always enjoy school. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a homeschool hack that I did with my five-year-old that helped quite a bit when she did not want to do math. And we will show you our trick we used to get her a little more interested in wanting to do them. I know that sometimes with homeschooling, it's very hard to keep your kiddos fully interested in the content that you're trying to teach them because not only do they have their parents as teachers, but I'm sure it's just not always something that they're going to enjoy. And we have to try to come up with maybe some creative ways to keep them wanting to do their schoolwork. And so this is just something that I tried that worked for me with my five-year-old. And does she still just love doing the things she really didn't enjoy? Not always, but it did help. I thought I would share it with you guys. So my daughter is five. She does her math and she writes one to a hundred. And I'm going to get out her little chart that I made. This is her practice folder. You take a folder and you take these little plastic sheets. And I literally, instead of, you can also use at the time, my computer didn't work at the time. So I ended up just using a ruler and a good old pencil and writing the number grids. And then I wrote this, 1 to 100. That way, kind of like, I know that I had sort of the same thing in kindergarten, where she can write them with a, um, like an expo marker, and then she can wipe it off when uh, she's done. And if she's trying to learn without looking, you can fold it back, and she can do it like that. This has come in handy, and I've used this for at least two years, maybe three. And so there was that. That was an added bonus. And then I also have this chart right here where it's called, I just put math prize. I didn't even buy a chart. You can buy a chart off Amazon, but I just literally used a piece of paper, wrote her name, and made little lines. And what we do is that every time she does her number, she gets a sticker. So if she gets 10 stickers, what I did was we let her know that she can get a prize. And what prize is it, you ask? So we go to the gas station all the time. We get gas every once in a while. And like usually everybody does. And so she's able to pick something out of her own. And just a treat maybe like gum or a soda pop or something like that. And it really got her interested in it more. With that homeschool hack, it really sort of at least got her more interested in wanting to do them. Whereas before, I was having such a hard time even just getting her to sit down and pick up her marker to even do it. And I know that's very frustrating and hard as a parent and you're trying to teach them at the same time. <laughs> and trying to have patience. And so that is just something that worked for us. And so I thought it would share it with you guys. You don't have to have a lot of money to do that. You know, you can get those things at the dollar store. The folder and the little slip papers um, and making a chart is not hard and so there's a lot of different creative ways that we can help teach uh, our kiddos and I thought maybe you guys would like to see that so hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any homeschool hacks that you would like to share with me uh, please let me know because I'm always willing to learn some more ideas so uh, thank you guys for watching all right, Lou Bug. So we talked about your math prize chart and doing your numbers in this video and how before you didn't even really like to do it. Do you like to do your numbers now? Or what's your favorite part of homeschool? So my favorite part of homeschool is probably my numbers because... Is it really? Yeah. Why? How come? Because I get put suckers on there and I get a surprise and... And now you can do it without hardly even looking at the chart, right? Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All that practice and hard work. Mm -hmm. And you have something to look forward to, don't you? Yeah. All right. That is so cool.